Boost online. Seeker mine detected. Agent down. Vital signs critical.
Extraction done. Hero is returning to base. Hello, m Plum here, g'day champions, happy new year, and welcome to 2021. We are back with another Division 2 build video, the first of the new year. I've been running this build over the last week or so, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. That's right, baby, it's a pestilence build. I've done a few of these pesty builds before, but nothing quite like this one. This build absolutely shreds. The gameplay proves it, and you saw that tick damage, right? Over 300k at full stacks. And this build's so easy to make too. A little bit harder to play with, but it just takes some practice. So I guess with all the gameplay out of the way, you want to check out the build, right? Righto, let's get stuck in, champs. It's simple, it's a pure red pesty build. Let's start off with the specialization. I've opted for Firewall. Why? Because in PvP, for literally 75% of your builds, that armor kit is still way too strong. I love running Firewall, but if you want to use a different one, go for it. The main gun, the Pestilence. Pesty, El Pesto, whatever you want to call it. Mine is fully maxed out. It has both our multiplicative damages that we want. Damages to targets and armor. The talent is Plague of the Outcasts. Hit supply a debuff dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds and this can be stacked 50 times. When an enemy dies with the debuff, all the stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy within 25 meters. Now you saw that whole oh no bit, right? Shooting and gaining stacks on deployed skills also works. And those ticks, they just keep ticking. My secondary is a foul with measured. It's good for that quick swap too if you get caught out in a reload. And this one hits like a truck too. And for the pistol, Use whatever you like, I don't even bother whipping it out anymore on these types of builds. Righto, so the build. 6 core reds, 12 red secondaries. So, I'm a little bit squishy, okay? At 726k armor, you do need to play this build smart. Don't go face tanking, even if you saw me do it a few times, you just shouldn't. But that chess piece talent does help, and has saved my sexy bot so many times. Righto champs, the brand bonuses and items, we've got 2 piece Providence, 1 piece Seska, 1 piece Overlord, 1 piece Petrov, and 1 piece Grupo. The mask is Providence, so we get that 15% headshot damage and 10% crit hit chance. Everything is maxed out, I love this piece. With these kind of rolls, you're dealing a heap of damage raw weapon damage, our crit hit damage, and those pesty ticks too. The chest piece is our second piece of providence, and I'm currently in the process of optimizing this one. I personally prefer to use unbreakable. If you want to run this build with glass cannon, go for it. But in my eyes, if you're dead, you're not dealing any damage, am I right? And just that 50% armor back when unbreakable procs can just help so much. Realistically, we get about 1 mil armor in these certain situations. And in team play, if someone's got a tanky tardigrade build, even better for you. The holster is Seska for 10% crit hit chance, and this piece is maxed out too. The knee pads are the Fox's Prayer, maxed out with that 8% damage to targets out of cover. Remember, that's multiplicative damage, and with our roll of 12% on the Pesty, that's now at 20%. Named Petrov Gloves, the Contractor's Gloves. Again, it has that multiplicative damage to armor, 8%. And with this item, we also get the additional LMG damage too. The backpack is Grupo with Vigilance. I'm using this one because it's better rolled than my gift. But the damage buff is exactly the same, I just need to wait another second after taking damage. But for sure, if you guys have a god rolled providence one, use that instead. For the skills, I want to play this build as stealthy as possible, because I can't afford to be dead all the time. So I use a pulse to help me find and locate other players, and I also use a decoy to reduce their chances of spotting me. 
These skills are not essential to the build, but I do feel that they work the best, but if you want to try something else, go for it. Heading on over to the stat sheet, 53.5% crit hit chance, 167.6 crit hit damage with the pestilence. That's a lot of damage. 100% headshot damage, 14% of that multiplicative damage to armor, and we also have that 20% multiplicative damage to targets out of cover too, remember? Here's the foul stats, 187.6% crit hit damage. I did forget to record this one earlier, that's why my background's a little bit different, but yeah champs, this build shreds. Like I've said, it has taken some time to get the hang of. And you all know me, I've got a target on my back because everyone's out to try and clap on me. But to be honest, I'm a really average player and I've racked up some big man hunts with this build. So surely you guys can do the same too. And I guess that's gonna wrap up this build video champs. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So did you like it? Then smash that like button. And if you didn't, you can press the dislike, but remember to support me and the channel hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one champions. I'm Plum, Plum out.